What's good, y'all? It's your boy Chief the OG back again, and this time I'm here with my mom. We're here on the Chief Show. Today, she's gonna do my hair. My mom's a hairstylist. She's been doing hair since I was a little baby, and we're gonna get more into that, but I'll ask her some questions while she does my hair. What's up, mama? How you doing? Say what's up to the people. We about to get into this. I know you've been doing hair since I was a baby, but how long have you been doing hair? Ooh. Wow. Uh, goodness, oh. tell us. Uh, what, what, what made, <laughs> all right, how about this? What made you want to start doing hair? Um, I was coming out of school and had to make a decision on what to do. Um, and then I decided, okay, what can I do that I can make some money real quick? So I decided to go to uh, beauty school because uh, Lisa was going to beauty school. Okay, let's check it out. That's when we go. I was always messing with somebody's hair. And this Lisa you talking about, is it the Asian lady Lisa? No, uh, Lisa uh, Clark. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Auntie Lisa, all right, yeah. yeah. That's cool, and so she was going to We started to going together. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And I was trying to think of something, me and your dad, it took a long drive. Yeah, my god brother's mama. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, it took a long drive, I was trying to figure it out. Take it. Right, figure out what, figure out what, what I wanted to do. to do. Yep. Decided on hair. Been doing hair over 20 years. So when you when you first yep. started, where did you first start doing hair? Uh, uh, untouchables. Untouchables. Yes. I've heard of that. Untouchables. I, yeah, it was Untouchables. And I remember seeing that shot. I was um, I was working as an assistant. Well, actually, I just had got out of beauty school. Had gotten out of beauty school, and then. Uh, guy came in he needed an assistant and he hired me on the spot and then he taught me everything I knew. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I know that guy too, uh, don't know. Fred. He uh is he the one with the with the he's got his hair business going now. That's a, Oh that's Steve. That's, that's what I'm Steve. talking about. Your yeah. buddy Steve. Uh, yeah. Well, he worked we both were assistants there at the shop when I started. Okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so, so when you, uh, when you, what made you uh, start working uh, at home? Because I know we've had you? the <laughs> salon in the shop. Okay, so, so I was uh, when I was born, that made you say, "I'm, a, I'm gonna start doing hair yes. at the house." Yeah, Daddy didn't want me to go to be in the shop because I worked in the shop with all men. But right. he was cool with that because they were all cool with him. But he wanted me to stay home and raise you. I hear that. That's cool. And so that started the business because I remember when you first started, it was uh, you had a couple people doing hair and mm -hmm. you had somebody doing hands and, and yep. feet, manicures and pedicures. Yep. And I everything. did. I did. I had a um, friend doing nails and manicures and pedicures, and then I had an assistant um, a while ago. And um, it was fun. Back in the day, Mimi and Charlotte. That's a cool one. All, I, all the babies grew up, yep. so everybody had the yeah, yep, everybody everybody's the babies grew up. <laughs> That's cool. I remember being like 10 years old, mom wanted my hair braided, and my hair was not long enough to get <laughs> yep. braided. I remember that. <laughs> all the time. How, how, how was that for you as a parent? Uh, Just like in torturous. general. <laughs> torture. <laughs> like, it was like torture. It? Uh, yeah. No, Gavin, your hair is <laughs> right. I remember, yeah, you wanted corn rolls. How is it nowadays? Yeah, it's very long. <laughs> <laughs> is it easier to do because yes, it's longer? Yes, All right, cool. Absolutely. That's good. That's good. Uh, how how do you feel about your son having long hair? Well, I think it's nice. It's pretty. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so, some I, I don't know. I guess some families want their their children to have short hair. Or, Boys have short hair and the girls have long hair. I don't know. I, I say, let it, what, how do you feel about that? I think it's a, a choice, a personal choice, and I think it looks good on you. Thank so, you. you know, go with it. I like your hair either way. Thank you. Yeah, I remember being little, I always 
even even trying to get the waves, I would go crazy. Yep. <laughs> I would put mounds of Dax uh, hair glue on my yep. hair, Dax or the Murray's, yep. and just brush until the waves appeared. I would put half the can in my hair yep. until I got waves, and I, they had to come the same night. I didn't believe that you know constant brushing would get the waves. I was like, no, you can do it today. They got to be here. Yep. I think he was always trying to. I'm gonna invent me a brush. I'm gonna invent me a wave cap that you know I puts the it. waves in. And yeah. <laughs> I believe it. That's how it's just like me. <laughs> said um, I'm a, right? Said I was determined. Said I'm gonna invent always. the perfect wave. <laughs> out of uh, you know your son raps. So out out of rap musicians like rap music today. What's a what's a rap song you like that you've heard on the radio recently? Or something you can remember. Or who's your favorite rapper? Oh, of course, of course. Before I was born, who was your favorite rapper? Tupac. Tupac, okay, all right. That's awesome. But well, that's good to know. But is there anything on the radio nowadays that you like? Other than my stuff, of course. Neo Soul. So do not listen to the no rap unless it's your baby, son. Yep. I hear that. I, every now and then, it just depends on if it catches my um, ear. Some of it that I do like. That's cool. So, Mom, for somebody who's aspiring to be a hairstylist, what's something that you, any advice for them? Any advice for somebody who wants to be a hairstylist in the future, wants to be a hairstylist like you? I would say make sure you love it. And that's, this is something that you really want to do. It's a lot of hours, a lot of personalities. You gotta really love it. Um, I enjoy every day doing hair. And if, it did, if I didn't like it, it would be a struggle. But if you love what you do, you never work another day, another day in your life. <laughs> I hear that. And I do. I really like it. I enjoy it. It's peaceful. It's relaxing for me. That's awesome. I like taking people's hair and if it's messed up and making a new, you know, making it nice. This has been fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Mom, for breaking me up. I'm feeling so fresh, so clean like Outcast. This has been another episode of The Chief Show. See you guys next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.